Base, this is Dr. Yasna. I need backup. Base, come in. I have a... I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. glance or no serious injuries and yeah I'm quite concerned I don't even know how I got here oh uh, here is backup needed I repeat do you hear me Base? I heard you for a moment. My receiver's dead, but the transmitter... It may still be working. I thought nothing. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. There weren't many supplies, which would suggest a quick recce. Or was it just the end of the mission? See if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. 
So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Oh. groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. They don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. You must be somewhere near. Okay, I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> he didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. A specific structure which does not resemble any canine. I'm checking another object which also doesn't match. Oh, focus. It's mine. I'll try to retrieve it later. It might come in handy. I called Needle. Right. It resembles the eye of a needle. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the data's trustworthy and you're close by.
think I see our ship. You're not leaving without me, are you? on the tracker. I assume it's no one from the crew, so perhaps it's my beacon. Biosynosis to fall. It won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration. As we all remember, third rule. might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up, slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. want to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? Sure, I'm coming. This is not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yes, now look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. <sighs> Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. But first, here, hold on to it, and remember. Look 
for me on your trackers. out of the valley, leading more or less towards the camp. Oh, I can't go this way. to go. This area is volcanically active. Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky's clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren.
over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? Need to get down from here. I can't get down this way, but I can secure the rope. The ground slopes a little more gently, which doesn't mean it's completely flat. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take your chance. an ideal. I'm okay. The suit's fine too. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But I don't remember it. Did, did I black out again? Closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get back to Dragonfly as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself.
I remember you, Regis' third satellite. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? Virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were built in. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I had the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? Oh, the Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Oh. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cobra. All right, but where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. 
Astrogator, please. How much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cole. Dr. Krauter, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program RT to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. Robot. Androbot, follow my instructions. A Androbot? <sighs> I'm reporting a robot malfunction. No response to voice commands. Cause unknown. I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Regis hasn't left the water. Koval also. He, he said something about it. Dragonfly, come in. Uh, hello, Regis. Dragonfly here. Dr. Yasna at the radio. And uh, Lovick, is his leg still bothering him? Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on a shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start the search soon. Oh, um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. My suit is pinching and cramping just at the near sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further. See more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a 
I understand how you feel, Cobble. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? I come across as, well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks to me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean, but the... Black mineral samples. Yes, that's right. Do you want to do the honors? Koval, where are you going? Over. So a little water. water. I'm switching to manual. With wrecky. I'm going to take a look around. Distance, 100. Base, are you there? A wrecky. More like a quick sicky. <laughs> Am I hearing this correctly? Are you going to smoke? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. Oh, Am I seeing this right? Dr. Krauser, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... School of fish. This is lovely. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I'm talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the pool. As soon as I swim it close to them, do you see what happens? Is it normal yet, now? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but. Animals are usually not afraid of equipment, or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination, then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Got it. What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> Anyone here? Marit! It's Yasna! I, I came for you! Didn't you hear me earlier? Doctor, is everything all right? Please, look at me. A report. 
report that I've located Dr. Crowter. He's in bad shape. I'm going to examine him now. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. You didn't have it easy. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear. Do I understand correctly that the Doctor's life is not in imminent danger? That's my initial diagnosis, yes. Yes, no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Do you have any idea what's wrong with him? Echinesia, mutism, impoverishment of mimic movements, and reaction to stimuli. These are all symptoms of stupor, but it's difficult to pinpoint the cause of the disorder. We need to quickly perform a complete set of tests and focal plate tomography of his brain. Otherwise, I won't be able to say anything more. I'll prepare the infirmary, but first things first, Lambda. We need to get you all on board. Everyone, not just Dr. Crowther. Okay. What should I do? Please look for the mission log. Should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing.